Samantha and I had been best friends since elementary school. Our bond was unique, born out of countless sleepovers, shared secrets, and mutual dreams. We navigated the turbulent waters of adolescence together, supporting each other through every heartbreak and celebration. When I met John during my sophomore year of college, Samantha was the first to know. She was thrilled when he proposed, and she stood by my side as my maid of honor, her eyes shimmering with tears of joy. John and I built a life together, filled with laughter, love, and shared dreams. We bought a cozy house in the suburbs, adopted a golden retriever named Max, and settled into what seemed like a perfect marriage. But perfection is often an illusion, and over the past year, cracks had begun to appear. John was distant, preoccupied with work, and frequently traveling. I tried to understand attributing his behavior to the stress of his demanding job. However, there was a gnawing feeling in my gut that something was terribly wrong. One fateful evening, I decided to surprise John at his office with his favorite homemade lasagna. It was a small gesture, a way to rekindle the spark that seemed to be fading. As I approached his office, I saw him through this window, laughing and leaning in close to a familiar figure. My heart pounded in my chest as I recognized Samantha. They were too close, their body language too intimate. I felt as if the ground had been pulled out from under me. Frozen, I watched as they shared an intimate moment that left no doubt about the nature of their relationship. Tears blurred my vision and I stumbled back to my car, my mind racing. The betrayal was incomprehensible. How could my best friend and my husband do this to me? The pain was overwhelming, a mix of anger, sadness and utter disbelief. I confronted them both that night. John stammered through weak excuses and Samantha tried to apologize. But her words felt hollow. The betrayal cut deep and I knew I had to take action. I filed for divorce, but I didn't stop there. I sought the help of a sharp, no-nonsense lawyer named Lisa. She was renowned for her tenacity and brilliance in the courtroom, and I needed her expertise to ensure that John and Samantha faced the consequences of their actions. The day of the court hearing arrived and tension filled the air. Samantha and John sat together, their expressions a mix of guilt and arrogance. They thought they had outsmarted me, but they were about to be proven wrong. As the proceedings began, Lisa presented a series of damning evidence, text messages, photos and financial records that painted a clear picture of their affair. But the bombshell was yet to come. Lisa called Samantha to the stand. With a calm yet authoritative tone, she began to unravel a secret that neither John nor Samantha had anticipated. Samantha, Lisa started, how long have you known John? Samantha shifted nervously. We've known each other since college. Lisa nodded. And during that time, did you ever suspect that John might be hiding something from you? Samantha glanced at John, uncertainty in her eyes. No, I never suspected anything. Lisa's eyes gleamed as she pulled out a document. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, what you are about to hear may come as a shock. Samantha, did you know that John had been secretly funneling money into an offshore account, embezzling funds from his own company? Gasps echoed through the courtroom. Samantha's face turned pale. What? No, I had no idea, Lisa continued. Not only that, but John had also been using Samantha's name to set up fake business ventures, implicating her in his fraudulent activities. All the while, he was planning to disappear, leaving her to take the fall. John's face contorted in anger and panic. That's not true. She's lying. Lisa remained unfazed. We have the evidence right here, John. Bank statements, emails and witness testimonies. You betrayed not only your wife, but also your so-called best friend. 
Samantha's eyes filled with tears as the reality of John's deception sank in. She had been a pawn in his game, just as I had been. The judge reviewed the evidence, and it was clear that John had orchestrated a web of lies and deceit. In the end, John was sentenced to prison for his crimes, and Samantha faced her own legal battles for her involvement, albeit unknowingly. I was granted a favorable settlement, which allowed me to rebuild my life and move forward. As I walked out of the courtroom, I felt a sense of closure and liberation. The betrayal had been painful, but it had also revealed the strength I never knew I had. With the support of my lawyer and the truth on my side, I had overcome the worst and emerged stronger than ever. Samantha and I would never be friends again. but i hoped she had learned a valuable lesson about trust and betrayal as for john he was no longer a part of my life and i was free to create a new beginning one that was built on honesty resilience and self respect asterisk asterisk chapter 1 the perfect illusion asterisk asterisk samantha and i met in the first grade she was the new kid shy and nervous while i was the outgoing one always ready to make a new friend from that day on we were inseparable we shared everything from our lunch boxes to our dreams of the future high school was a blur of proms heartbreaks and late night talks when we both got accepted into the same college it felt like destiny john entered my life like a whirlwind during our sophomore year He was charming, ambitious, and made me feel like the only woman in the world. Samantha was thrilled for me, or so I thought. She cheered us on as our relationship blossomed, and was genuinely happy when John proposed. Our wedding was a fairy tale, with Samantha standing by my side, her smile as bright as mine. Life with John was everything I had hoped for. We bought a beautiful house, traveled the world. and talked about starting a family but over the past year things had changed john became distant spending more time at work and less with me he was always on his phone laughing at messages he wouldn't share i tried to brush off my suspicions attributing them to paranoia but deep down i knew something was wrong asterisk asterisk chapter 2 the betrayal asterisk asterisk One evening, feeling particularly lonely, I decided to surprise John at his office. I cooked his favorite meal, lasagna, and drove to his workplace. As I approached, I saw him through the window, laughing with someone. My heart stopped when I realized it was Samantha. They were too close. Their smiles too intimate. I felt a wave of nausea and disbelief. I confronted them that night. John was full of excuses while Samantha cried saying it just happened. Their betrayal was a knife to my heart. I felt utterly lost. My trust shattered. I couldn't believe that the two people I loved the most had done this to me. Asterisk asterisk. Chapter 3. Taking action. Asterisk asterisk. Determined to reclaim my life and I filed for divorce. But I needed more than just an end to my marriage. I needed justice. I hired Lisa, a formidable lawyer known for her relentless pursuit of the truth. Together we gathered evidence of John's infidelity and more. The court date arrived and I was a bundle of nerves. Samantha and John sat together looking smug. They thought they had won, but they had no idea what was coming. Asterisk asterisk chapter 4. The courtroom revelation Asterisk asterisk The courtroom was tense as Lisa began presenting her case. She showed the judge and jury the evidence of John's affair. But then she dropped a bombshell. Lisa revealed that John had been embezzling money from his company and funneling it into an offshore account. He had used Samantha's name to set up fake business ventures, planning to disappear and leave her to take the fall. Samantha's face turned white. I had no idea, she whispered, her voice shaking. 
John tried to deny everything, but the evidence was irrefutable. The bank statements, emails and testimonies painted a clear picture of his deceit. The judge sentenced John to prison and Samantha faced her own legal battles for unknowingly being part of his schemes. Asterisk, asterisk, chapter 5 Moving forward, asterisk, asterisk As I left the courtroom, I felt a weight lift off my shoulders. The betrayal had been devastating, but it had also revealed my inner strength. With the settlement from the divorce, I was able to start over. I sold the house, moved to a new city, and began a new chapter in my life. Samantha and I never spoke again. The trust between us was irrevocably broken. I hoped she learned a lesson about the consequences of betrayal. As for John, he was a distant memory, a reminder of the importance of honesty and self-respect. I built a new life, one founded on resilience and self-worth. The experience had been painful, but it had also made me stronger. I learned to trust my instincts, to stand up for myself, and to never settle for anything less than I deserved. My future was bright, and I was ready to embrace it, leaving the past behind. And that was the story of how my best friend stole my husband, but she never expected what my lawyer was about to reveal to her. Samantha and I had been best friends since childhood, sharing our deepest secrets and standing by each other through thick and thin. When I married John, Samantha was my maid of honor, and our lives seemed perfect. But perfection is often an illusion. Over time, John's behavior grew distant, and the unthinkable happened. I discovered his affair with Samantha. Shattered by their betrayal, I sought the help of a tenacious lawyer, Lisa, to ensure they faced the consequences. In the courtroom, shocking revelations about John's embezzlement and deceit turned the tables. As I reclaimed my life and moved forward, the bonds of friendship and love were irrevocably broken, but I emerged stronger and wiser. Betrayal Unveiled is a gripping tale of trust shattered, secrets exposed, and the unyield.